Hello everyone, I'm going to explain chemical oxygen demand, COD, and the total organic carbon, and how can we get the ratio for uh, organic material, the ratio between COD and the TOC. And in the previous, uh, previous video, we explained what is the chemical oxygen demand, and we defined it as the amount of oxygen that is consumed to in a chemical oxidation of organic matter. And in this case, we use some kind of strong oxidant like potassium dichromate. And uh, we mentioned also that the COD is uh, used for uh, measurement of the organic matter in uh, water and wastewater and of course waste. And we see that the concentration of organic matter in terms of oxygen demand uh, can be determined uh, by the difference of initial and and remaining oxidant concentration in the sample. So uh, what happened that we put this kind of potassium chromate and we boil or actually we cook the, 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 the sample for two hours uh, under refluxing and um, we we know actually how much uh, oxidant is present in the, in the, in the sample and based on the difference in uh, basically the remaining of this uh, strong oxidant, which is the potassium dichromate, we know how much COD is uh, needed to oxidize the organic matter in uh, the waste or the wastewater treatment sample. And we came uh, also uh, through that video also that we had uh, before, how we can calculate the theoretical COD and if we, we uh, if we have uh, organic matter uh, composed of uh, CHO and we have this is in is the number of atom of carbon and A is the number of atom of hydrogen and B is the number of atom of oxygen and we say that how much oxygen is needed we can just simplify this uh, amount of uh, moles of oxygen needed to oxidize this material. And uh, the result of this oxidation is carbon dioxide, basically, and water. And we came uh, to simplify this to this kind of uh, balance here, or this kind of equation, and they give you how a milligram of COD per gram of uh, organic matter. Uh, basically, you uh, divide this amount of moles of oxygen divided by the molecular weight of the material. Uh, of course, here this is uh, the eight is basically you multiply this amount of moles here by 32. The molecular weight of oxygen give you the eight here. Okay. So today, just to focus on the organic carbon content, and this is uh, important actually also measure, especially for people who work with uh, wastewater, sometimes wastewater treatment, of course. And also it's a, a, a parameter that you used for soils, basically, to see how much organic matter. And for these people who are uh, working on soils, uh, because it's really hard to to uh, determine the organic matter in the soil, so they measure the carbon, the organic carbon as a measure for the organic matter, and they have some kind of conversion between both parameters. But for wastewater treatment, yeah, this is also important sometimes to see how much organic carbon in the samples and how it's measured. It's uh, measured uh, by uh, also incineration or combustion of uh, assemble of the material uh, uh, and uh, either incineration or just with chemistry oxidation also you can also oxidize the material and see how much carbon dioxide is produced and this is representing basically the organic material uh, organic uh, organic uh, carbon in the sample uh, theoretically if you have also uh, the same thing is that you have organic compound with this kind of form, uh, with this kind of formula, sorry, with this kind of formula, you have actually also a possibility to calculate how much 
uh, carbon basically organic carbon is present in this case so how much carbon here this is exactly here this is the c uh, number of uh, carbon atoms in and then multiply by uh, the uh, the uh, molecular weight of carbon here this is 12 and then how many atoms again is n divided by the molecular weight for the entire or the for the total uh, compound here this is basically 12 times the n of carbon times 1 times a and then uh, 16 for one atom of oxygen times the number of atom of oxygen give you uh, the amount of total organic carbon uh, per uh, gram of the organic matter to see this actually in in, in example what is the cod and the toc for acetic acid as as a compound that is known so uh, to to calculate the cod of course we have to write this kind of equation and uh, here this is uh, again we have uh, to have uh, two moles of oxygen needed to oxidize this amount of uh, to oxidize one mole of acetic acid and give you uh, the carbon dioxide two mole of carbon dioxide and the two mole of water so if we actually have this kind of uh, calculations we have to yeah simply you can either use the previous one here this is uh, what we just said uh, eight times four n plus a minus two b or simply you can say actually this is a total here so how many moles times the molecular weight of oxygen is 64 of course that directly but if it's actually complicated uh, a compound here you can actually have maybe you need actually to calculate this uh, uh, this amount of moles so uh, back to this one here again uh, we have here uh, 8 times 4 times 2 plus 4 plus minus 4 so basically this end up to 64 divided by 60 which is actually 1.067 gram cod per gram of uh per gram of acetic acid so basically here this is should be c2 h4 uh, o2 okay so uh again for the toc uh also for total organic carbon so basically here we have uh, two atoms of uh, of carbon times 12 divided by the molecular weight which is still 60 give you 0.4 gram toc per gram of acetic acid again this is just uh, the uh, molecular formula or the formula for uh, acetic acid so sometimes actually it's also desired to uh, calculate the ratio between cod and toc and this give you the ratio here is uh, gram of COD per gram TOC. Uh, this 2.67. Uh, so this is also a table here that give you uh, the ratio uh, of COD and the TOC for uh, some compounds here. And then you can simply, if you would like to double check, you can just uh, take the number of atoms of carbon, number of atoms of hydrogen, number of atoms of uh, oxygen and calculate the COD of course theoretically and calculate the uh, TOC theoretically and get this the ratio between uh, COD and the TOC basically first you have to calculate the COD uh, and then uh, a TOC and then you can uh, calculate the ratio between both parameters uh, this here the units here is milligram per, per uh, milligram of uh, COD and here this is uh, basically the just the ratio between both parameters uh, okay I hope this is uh, this is useful for you and see you next time thank you